Welcome to Conquering Mount Scrap More with Brenda. I'm Brenda and today we're going to be showing you how to do crumb quilting with adding machine tape. Now this uh, technique has been asked by a few of you and we're going to do it as a, a viewer request because we're still working on the string and crumb series. We're going to just slide this in. If you don't have calculator tape, you can cut strips of newspaper, like, you know, one and a half inch, two inch, whatever, and this will work for you as well. But one of the things I want to introduce before we get into the sewing is Marie from Marie's Scrappy Creations. Um, she is such a delightful lady. I, I, we had the opportunity to meet online, and we chatted, and it was, it was simply wonderful. So... Without further ado, we'll show you what she sent us, and then we'll get right into the sewing. Hi, I'm Marie from Marie's Scrappy Creations. And I'd like to take a little bit to tell you about my channel. My motto is, where we sew the scraps of your life into beautiful creations. Because we all have scraps, don't we? Whether you make handbags, quilts, whether you sew your own clothes, you have scraps. Who wants to throw those away? They're beautiful. We chose the fabric to begin with. We don't want to throw those little pieces away. So I'm going to show you fun and creative ways to use those scraps in all kinds of different ways. And while we're at it, I try to make you feel like you're visiting with a friend because that's how I feel when I'm making the videos. I feel like I'm right with you whether I'm showing you how to insert a zipper, put on a snap, or whether you're teaching me in the comments section. It's friend to friend and I love it all. And I wanna thank you for just watching this and, and letting me tell you about my channel. Take care. Okay, so what you do is you take either your strips of newspaper that you've cut or your calculator tape. Now, I always found they're easier and you just rip them off. Like you don't even need scissors to do this. Basically you're going to use your calculator tape as a base for your your piecing, right, essentially. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out with uh, two pieces. Now I would pick two pieces that were a little bit longer than the tape myself and then I would just drop them over like this. And I always started in the middle, kind of, with this. And I would just stitch, now I've got my machine set up at 25 to 30 stitches per inch. I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I, I add everything in. I don't worry about what it looks like. Now this is, this piece here, the blue, the blue spotted one with the little sparkles is a little bit on the short side. I'm just gonna squeegee that down and squeegee this up there. And we're going to get good coverage because we're going to trim these after. So, and these are great to take for a, like a retreat or something. You can chat. Usually you can chat while you're making these and it's not, you know, too brain strenuous or anything. Oh, let's get some teacups in here. Let's get the teacups in here. And don't forget to put in white. Unless you're going to make... Um, a string block or a block like this where white is going to be your outside edge you know you can start playing and stuff like this longer bit you, you can trim off now or you can trim later um, it's up to you how you do this I'm going to put uh, let's see so let's get something fun oh this is good this works this works that'll work okay there, that'll be different. You can get that. And you can work both sides of the string at one time, right? Oops, there we go. And, like I say, when you're doing these, it's easier to do two at a time. And you just push them out of the way. You just flatten them out of the way. Oh, let's see. Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's too similar. Oh, let's get this one here. Let's get this. This one's a bigger, longer piece, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now, if your piece is not quite long enough to go across, don't forget you can poverty piece on these. 
It's real simple. You just put two together that are around the same size. Here, we'll try this. You put two that are around the same size, and you just run them through, and then you piece it like that. And like, oh, like, you run this through, and you piece it like that. And that's how you would piece them together. But, I mean, this these are long enough, because this is a pretty tiny little... And, you know, anything like, if you have fabric that looks like this, that looks like kind of beat up and was picked out and then thrown back into a string box, you know, just put the rough edges on either side and just don't worry about it. Just keep piecing. Just keep piecing. Don't, don't think, th these are, uh, this is a don't think. Now, remember when we were doing, um, oh, come on, what's the matter now? Why is this? Okay. There we go. The penny weights. Well, the penny weights you can add in you just by tilting something very, you know, like tilting something pretty dramatically. And you would have a penny weight. And I'm going to put something. Oh, like I'm going to put something like this on there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've got these. I'm going to put that on there. There. Then that one is just big enough. You can you can do tilting and whatnot too to to get your wonky angles. And this is the same way you would do with anything like this. I'm running out of fun stuff, and all this stuff is big. Okay, let's get oh. now. This right here is not a straight edge, right? So if you want to continue doing straight edge piecing, you want to just roll it up and then just trim it so it's straight and not curved. That's kind of important that your work lays flat. Otherwise it might bow. Why is this not going? You're not happy. Why aren't you happy? There we go. So what I can do, and I think you guys have got the idea of how to do this. So I'll just continue on with this and I will meet you when I'm done my two little pieces. Okay, so we're fi finished making our, our end. Now on this one, this, fell, this end fell right off. So I'm just going to leave it off. I'm not even going to tape it back on because that's not what... What this is about now I'm going to lay my ruler just on the edge of this adding machine tape and just just trim off what's what's there and I'm gonna keep moving this down and it, you could make this adding machine tape as long as you wanted it is easier to manage in smaller pieces so this goes into my footstool and now I just go along and I line this up right along this edge again. Uh, and there we go. And now finish this off here. They never look like anything until they're trimmed. I always think they look like there. Uh, there we go. And now what I'm going to do with the ends is I'm going to make sure they're square to the edge of the tape, right? So I'm going to put a real fine line on this tape edge and go out as far as I can. Because sometimes, you know, you don't have a real clean square edge. And I'm going to do the same with this side. And this one's out a little bit more, but not too much. Right? Now I'll get the other one trimmed up and we'll I'll show you what I do with these once they're all done. Okay, before I take all the paper off, what I do is I've squared up both edge both edges, right? So now I have, you know, I'm going to make one long continuous string. That's why you keep your calculator or your newspaper pieces shorter. It's easier to work with. And then just run a quarter inch seam along that straightened up edge and you could have put all your pieces on there real wonky it would have looked it would have looked fine you know and then just trim it up so this is what it looks like now right and you can't tell 
where that joint is, other than it's right here, because that's where I put my, my papers together. So now to, to remove the papers, you just go through and you just, you just start pulling them off, just like that. Um, I don't, I, I try not to store them with the paper, and but I mean, yeah, I have, and I don't necessarily, when I'm making these this way, I use them up right away and sew them into something so I don't stay stitch or you could stay stitch around these if you're you're gonna have them kicking around for a while but just gently handle them right because those edges might be on a slight bias but yeah it doesn't take long to pull the paper off and ta-da okay so here we are isn't that a cute little string of of color and fun. You could add this into your string quilts and it would just look adorable. It would give your string quilts, you know, a different look, right? Or you could use it as, if because it's all the same width, you can even use it as a border or, you know, put sew them together like this way to make blocks and it would look like a really wonky coins block or a mini coins block. It would be a lot of fun. Now see, these are the other strings I've made and they're all, they're staying in one color family of black, right? And I had an overwhelming amount of black suddenly, so I decided, okay, let's try the calculator tape, and we went with black. Now I can use this as sashing between blocks or whatever, because it would look like black-ish. There's a lot of color in here, because some of the blacks have a lot more color in them than others, and then there's the black and white prints as well. And that's all from your scrum, your crumb bo box. So anyways, if you get a chance, check out Marie at Marie's Scrappy Creations. You're going to you're going to love her. She is just charming. Okay, I hope you guys have a fabulous week. Okay, take care. Bye. Thank you for watching our video today. We are just overjoyed with how our channel has grown. And um, we would like you to share, like, and subscribe these videos with your friends and other other people. Uh, this is one of the quilts that we might are considering at, at this time to do a sew along for. It is um, a crazy original scrappy design that was made with too much co coffee and too many granola bars. And it's a lot of fun to do. And it, it is a really good scrap buster. So share, like, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Uh, our plan for 2022 is two different so-longs for sure and two different case studies. And we're going to do uh, try and do a thing on uh, grouping on uh, strings and crumbs and then another one on curves. So we've got rather an ambitious 2022 planned for you here. So, like I say, I hope you come back. Have a great week ahead, and we'll talk to you later. Bye!